Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. Quick hitter edition, we're going to go out to Chicago. And I want to discuss somebody that uh, we hear at OD Pod and on our companion website, uh, Gangster Report, um, are describing as a rising star in the Chicago outfit. Somebody whose profile is raising every day, um, part of it via social media, uh, a very successful, legitimate businessman, but also somebody that uh, we know the um, federal government believes is a member of the Chicago Outfit and has a restaurant headquarters that is a known hangout of the Chicago Outfit and has been making his way, cutting a swath, if you will, uh, through the country in the last year. Some some of it, we're talking about Gigi Revito. I'm sorry, and I'm bearing the lead here. Uh, Philip Gigi Revito, um, pretty young guy. I believe he's 49 or 50. That's him on the right. Um, again, on the right. And these are pictures that are about you know, 20, 25 years apart, but both of them are with Don's alleged Dons. The first one you saw was with Chicago Mafia Don, uh, Sally D. D. Laurentis, which he is, uh, who he's been connected to in court filings. And then the one that was snapped a year or two ago, or two, uh, but uh, last year in Las Vegas, is with uh, reputed Buffalo Mafia Don, Joe Pizza Tadaro. Now, in both cases, D. Laurentis and, and Joe Tadaro have histories in the pizza business, a restaurant business. And again, I want to just be clear that uh, Gigi has not been arrested in quite a while. He is a convicted felon. He did, I think, five years in the feds, uh, assault and um, drug trafficking back when he was a youngster. And uh, he is a part of what we've dubbed kind of the new gen here we here at OG Pod and, and Gangster Report, the new generation of the Chicago Mafia. Uh people, a, a group of of relatively younger guys uh that came up under Fat Mike Sarno, Large Mike Sarno, back in the 2000s that are now coming to the forefront of leadership out of Cicero. And uh, Gigi is at least in terms of the public, definitely social media, he's emerged as the face of that crew. Uh, his restaurant, Capri Restaurante in, um, uh, I believe, Burr Ridge, is a, a place that is kind of a, a spot to be and be seen uh, if you're a, a member of the Cicero crew or the Elmwood Park crew. Rudy Fratto, uh, I would call him a faction boss, old OG's OG. Rudy, Rudy Fratto uh, spends a lot of time at Capri and gets the godfather treatment. Uh, Sally De Laurentiis and Gigi were, were named in uh, a federal court case in the last decade, uh, and it describes a payment that Gigi made at the restaurant to a mob enforcer for a, a collection extortion. He wasn't, neither him nor Solid D were charging the case, but they were referenced in the court filing. Um, and now, kind of following this trend of gangsters, ex gangsters, jumping into the social media space and in the influencer space. And again, to be fair, to help promote his business, which is a very successful business, legitimately, uh, great reviews. He's expanding it every day. I've personally been there. One of the best meals I ever had. I recommend it. Um, Capri Restaurante. And he is whatever, if you believe it or not, about him being the face of the, the kind of this new generation of the Cicero guys, um, it's 
undisputed that he's the face of the brand, the the G, uh, um, Capri Restaurante, and uh, he's spreading the gospel, going around the country and chronicling it on his social media, on his Instagram, doing TikToks and, and whatnot. I've, I'm hearing he's doing a podcast um, or about to do a podcast, and he's selling merchandise, T-shirts, hats, sweatshirts with kind of his famous sayings and a character of, you know, kind of a cartoon character of him on the on the gear. But at the same time, what we're hearing from multiple sources in multiple families is that he's also taking meetings that are OC related. Um, again, that doesn't mean that you're necessarily engaging in a crime. Um, being in the mafia is no crime, just for people to understand. Taking an oath to a crime family in itself is not a crime. You have to actually do something in furtherance of your status or do a, do a some type of racketeering activity. But just being in the mob or meeting with another mobster about the mob isn't illegal in itself. So, and the people that he's meeting with in places like New York and Boston are big names. Um, guys that have been identified uh, by the government as high-ranking members of organized crime. Um, I don't want to get into specifics about who he's meeting with, but I know that a very recent trip to New York, which he again chronicled, went to a Yankees World Series game, was at uh, some some uh, really high-end Italian restaurants and, and kind of doing reviews and schmoozing. I'm told he took at least two meetings um, with, you know, guys that are on an FBI board somewhere and very high up on that FBI board. One of them from the Bananos and, and one of them from the Genovese and that these meetings took place, you know, on the QT and kind of clandestine locations at late hours. Um, he was at Saratoga Springs, uh, the racetrack back in the summer. I know that he's somebody that's gaining popularity outside of Chicago. In addition to whatever's going on in Chicago, I'm told there's a lot of wise guys in New York, in Massachusetts, um, in Connecticut, in upstate New York, uh, in Buffalo, that love this dude. And again, whether or not that's OC related or not, they want to go and spend time with them and, um, and, and pal around with them. Is he, is he bopping around the country on behalf of Sali D, on behalf of the leadership of that Cicero crew? I don't know, or I'm not willing to report that as fact right now. But it's just something to keep an eye on. Um, I don't think he is a, a skipper or anything within that crew. I think there are a number of guys that are higher up on the pecking order than him within Cicero, but he is now the face of that group. Um, you know, Sammy uh, Catadella is the alleged underboss. He's, you know, he's the guy that that's the, the overseer right now of that new generation outfit, Cicero, Click, Mike Sarno still chimes in from prison is in frequent contact with these guys from prison. So I don't know if Gigi has the, like, is he going to do business for these guys? Is he doing business for himself? Is it all just legitimate and related to the, the pizza making trade and the restaurant trade? Either way, it's, it's gain, it's becoming more high profile by the day. Um, and it's just something to keep an eye out. And I don't know, it, it's, I guess in some ways it's, it's emblematic or a microcosm of where 
the mob is in 2024. And we can sit here, we could debate that for days, but it, it says something. So uh, I'll finish this off by saying, Gigi uh, is, a, is a major player now. He's got kind of the wind at his back when it comes to legitimate business. And I believe the, the stuff with the outfit and uh, he's got a great restaurant. So go check it out if you're in Chicago. Go, go uh, grab a plate of, uh, of uh, pasta at, uh, at Capri. Go grab a pizza. I know he's expanding it. Um, I know, I know that he's got a, a pizza brand that I've heard is excellent. So go check it out. Scott Bernstein, OG Pod, like, subscribe, share the word, spread the word. We're out here uh, pounding the pavement, getting you the most elite insight, analysis, breaking news, uncovering the underworld, one city, one region, one country. At a time, Scott Bernstein, OG Potomo. Mm-hmm.